When you solve mathematical problems that involve floating point numbers in a Delphi project, you must sometimes extract only the part of the decimal number that you want to work with. In this video, you will learn how to work with fractions with Delphi's built-in trunk and frac functions. I will demonstrate the concepts in this project that you can create with me. Hi, it's Gerard here from Learn Delphi where I help you to grow your Delphi programming knowledge and skills step by step and line by line. If you see value in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And all the links that I mention in this video you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump in. Let's look at the solution of the project we will create. Our application starts up showing a number in this edit. The number probably looks familiar to you. It is the value of pi. Your user can replace pi with any number. The fraction only button must show only the fractional part of the number, which is 0.1420 in the case of pi. The integral only button must only show the integral part of the number, which is 3 in the case of pi. So the fractional part must be removed. In every video we focus on a specific lesson and use those concepts in a sample project. We do our project step by step and test our code at regular intervals to see the results after I explain the code. I do not show you how to create the user interface so that you only focus on the code of the lesson we are doing. If you want you can download the user interface and any other assets I use in the project to start immediately where I start with this lesson. The starter project files of this project is available for download on patreon.com slash learndelphi. That link is also in the description. And I'm using Delphi 10.3 Community Edition to record these lessons. There is also a link in the description if you want to download the free copy of Delphi. You can pause the video here, go do the downloads and meet me here again to do the rest of the project with me. If you download it to start the files, open it in Delphi. Start by double clicking the surface of the form. As soon as the form is created, pi must show in the edit. So you must write code in the form create event handler. Type this statement between begin and end. Here we call Delphi's built in pi function to get the value of pi. Then we format it to a fixed float format of 4 decimal digits. And at the same time we also convert the floating point number to a string. Then we assign it to the text of the edit named editing number. By now you should understand this statement. If this is new to you, watch these two lessons to learn about pi and the float to string f function. Run the project. Pi displays in the edit and the text is highlighted and ready to be overtyped by your users. Close the form. Click the Design tab to view your form in Design view. Double click the Fraction Only button. Go above the Begin statement. Type var. Press Enter and type SNG number, comma, SNG fraction as single. SNG number must read and store the number in the edit, which is pi if the user doesn't change it. SNG fraction must store the fractional part of the number. We declare both variables as type single because they are floating point numbers. Go under begin. Type three comments to separate input, processing and output. Go under input. Type this statement. We read the text in editing number and then we convert it to a float and assign it to the single variable named SNG number. Go under Processing. Type this statement. Now we take the value in SNG number and extract the fractional part of the number with Delphi's frac function. Then we assign the result to the single variable named SNG fraction. To get the fractional part of a floating point number, you can use Delphi's frac function. The frac function takes a decimal number as input and it returns a floating point number to the calling statement. If you pass the value of pi 3.1420 as the input, the frac function will return 0 0.1420. The 3 in front of the decimal point will be 0. Go under output. Type this statement. We 
We take the value we assigned to SNG fraction in the previous statement and we convert it to a string, while also formatting it to a fixed float format with a precision of 4 and 4 decimal digits. Then we assign it to the caption of a panel named PNL fractional. Run the application. Leave Pi in the edit and click the fraction only button. The integral part is 0 and the fractional part is the same as Pi. Close the form. Click the Design tab to view the form in Design view. Double click Integral only. Go above Begin. Type var. Press Enter and type SNG number as single. Enter and type INT integral as integer. SNG number must read and store the number in the edit again. INT integral must store the result after we extracted the integral part of the decimal number. We made it an integer because the integral part is the whole number before the decimal point. Go under begin. Type three comments to separate input, processing and output. Go under input. Type this statement. Here we read the text of EDT number and we convert it to a float and assign it to the single variable named SNG number. Go under Processing. Type this statement. Now we take the value in SNG number and remove the fractional part from the number. Another word we use to remove or wipe something out is the word truncate. We use the trunk function to truncate or remove the fractional part of a decimal number. Then we assign the remaining part of the number to the integer variable named int integral. The trunk function truncates or removes the fraction from a decimal number so that only the whole number is left over. The trunk function takes a decimal or floating point number as input and it returns an integer to the calling statement. If pi is the input, trunk will only return the number in front of the decimal point. With pi it will be 3. Go under output. Type this statement. We take the value we assigned to int integral in the previous statement, then we convert it to a string and assign it to the caption of a panel named PNL integral. Run the application. Leave pi in the edit. Click the integral only button. The output is 3. Close the form and save the project. Next time we will dive deeper into division operators in Delphi code in a new project. If you had fun with this project, leave a comment under the video. And if you learned something new, please like, subscribe and share my lessons with your friends. Thank you for watching and a special thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com. Happy coding! See you next time!